Hey guys, what's going on? It's JK, and today we have a quick little guide to get the Templar King or even Knight Mask that is available on Revelations. Now, this is one of the first masks that I did struggle to get, and the whole community sort of struggled to get this one because we sort of knew that we had to get 50 kills with a trap for it. Someone did end up finding that out the other day, but they didn't know what else they did for it. So today, all of a sudden, people have suddenly found out that you have to end up killing a panzer by shooting its power core. Now, also in this, I did did actually shoot its helmet off just to try and get the god mask which i thought would just needed the power the the visor for that so did that and then thought right i'll shoot the the power core to then get progress towards this one so there's no order that these two things have to be done to actually get this mask you can either do the 50 kills with the traps first or you can end up shooting the power core out of the panzer first it's up to you it doesn't matter which order after the first one that you do do you will hear a ding sound and then after the second one you'll hear like a robot sort of roar that's the easiest way to explain it it's sort of like when the panzer does die <laughs> So this Knight Templar Mask will actually give you a permanent stamina up effect which does increase your sprint duration, but along with that it will also give you 50% damage reduction from all boss attacks, so that will be the Marguers and even the Panzers. Player does 33% more damage to bosses and you'll get no damage from elemental zombie death effect. So I'm going to have a guess this is sort of like where the uh, purple magua can actually affect a normal zombie and make it have the purple effect. So running over that pad won't cause any issues and even the panzer can electrocute zombies and they can injure you as well. I'm going to have a guess it's just them sort of effects where if they are fired purple or even electrocuted it won't affect you. So this is one of the better helmets that you can actually get in Revelations. Now the only other one is the Shadow Man helmet now all the steps to that are sort of known but some of them can be eliminated and we're trying to work towards what can be eliminated on that and what is definitely needed i will hopefully have a video on that soon it definitely won't be today or tomorrow hopefully coming next week i will have a definite answer on what that needs to be done so hopefully guys this does actually help you earn that templar king knight helmet whatever you want to call it and if it does please leave a like on this video subscribe if you are new around here and stick around for more revelations videos whether it's masks, helmets and various other easter eggs that can be around the map. Thank you and goodbye.